we are in October, which means it's time to visit a pumpkin patch. And what better patch to visit than one that helps out a local organization? Joining me now is Jillian Navarro, Director of Public Relations for Aggie Habitat for Humanity. Thank you so much for being here, Jillian. Thank you for having me. Yeah, tell me about this pumpkin patch. It's your biggest fundraiser of the year, right? Yes, um, we actually have two fundraisers that we do. One is in the fall and one is in the spring. And the one that we do in the fall is pumpkin patch. And so we bring out about 2000 pumpkins um, every 14 days and then we go and sell them to people and it's a nonprofit. And so what we do with the money is that we take it and we um, give it to sponsor a house in the Bryan College Station area. All right, so back up a little bit and tell me more about the pumpkin patch. What can people find there? So just, we have a bunch of pumpkins there. Um, we are requiring people wear a mask um, to the pumpkin patch, but we have the regular sized pumpkins. We have ones that are, you know, really big. Um, we sometimes have um, different kinds. Uh, including white pumpkins, smaller pumpkins. We've had gourds. Um, it just depends on what the pumpkin company decides to give us. And so this year we're hoping for all different kinds. And we also have areas where people just like to take pictures, bring their dogs or their pets. We recommend that they're on a leash. We require them to be on a leash. Um, and then they go and take pictures out there. Um, so definitely a fun, exciting time for friends, for family, for anybody that can make it out. Tell me a little bit more about where the money raised goes. So the money that we raise, um, we actually work with an affiliate. Um, Bryan College Station has a Habitat for Humanity. And so we are the Texas A&M chapter. And so we give the money to the Bryan College Station Habitat for Humanity and they give it to a person that they um, are building a house for. And um, that's how we sponsor the person that is building their house um, or getting that house has to put in sweat equity hours of about 500 volunteer hours with Habitat for Humanity. And then they get um, a 30 year no interest um, free for their loan or for their for their house <laughs> and when a family does step into that new home what is their response how do you how do you how do you see their faces when they step into that you know new home it is amazing i've gotten to work with the homeowners whenever we go out there to help build the house um, the homeowners are there working with us and it's just amazing sight to see i've um, gone through one house the whole way through start to finish and it was exciting because I got to see this little boy who got to get his own room for the first time and it was just a joy he was so excited and to me that was the greatest thing that could just being there and seeing all of that that's the greatest appreciation I have gotten as a student here. How much money are you guys hoping to raise what is the end goal? So we're always hoping to raise about, for the house, it takes about $60,000. For the pumpkin patch, we always, our goal is $30,000. Last year we did about twenty-four to 26,000, and um, that was with a loss of 1,000 pumpkins. And so this year we're really hoping to get as many people out and to raise that $30,000. All right, and where can people go to learn more or find out more information about the pumpkin patch, times, and all of that? So we have a Facebook page, we have an Instagram page, Aggie Habitat, and we also have our website. If you go to www.aggiehabitat.org, you will find the information there. All right, Jillian, thank you again for being here. And hey, check them out. As you heard, the money goes right toward a wonderful goal. Thank you so much for being here, Jillian. Thank, thank you.